Hello students. Good morning everyone. This is the Chenet. Today we are going to review our lesson yesterday because we didn't finish. We ran out of time. So now those who didn't attend the meeting yesterday, you can check or open this video and before that we are going to learn the important vocabularies okay a word to learn today is we have left left borrow Borrow, subterhand, subterhand, minion, minion, urgent, urgent. Okay, this is the step how we solve the word problem. Number one. We have to clarify the problem. And number two, you have to plan. Think about a methods to the answer. Okay? And find the numbers. Number three, execute the plan and then we calculate. You calculate. Number four, check the answer or it is reasonable and calculated correctly example number one okay is this in your notebook or in this is this in your book yeah is this is there in your book there are 25 guavas and 20 oranges in a basket how many guavas and oranges are there all together so number one we have to get the information that we are reading on the problem so we have to write there are 25 guavas and 20 oranges so what is the question the question is how many guavas and oranges are there all together okay and number two you have to plan okay we have to plan find the numbers of fruits all together then write the number in sentence okay so we have to write 25 plus 20 and equals okay and we are going to execute the plan so there are 25 guavas there are 20 uh, 20 oranges and if we total all together is there are 45 guavas and oranges all together so the answer is there are 45 guavas and oranges all together okay so check the answer we check the answer so now so here is the 25 we call ocean and 45 we call sum so 20 here is added and 20 in minus or subtraction is we call subtrend so 45 here is we call sum and 25 here we call minion so this is about the relationship between addition and subtraction okay so example okay number one in your book then write the number sentence and find answer so we have the problem number one here a baby pet shop has 50 puppies there is 16 kittens than puppies how many kittens are there so we have to write the number of sentence okay so now we have to write 50 then minus 16 so if we are going to minus that number so the answer is 
there are 34 puppies in a baby shop. Okay, that is example number one. So, okay. So, number two. Gary has 85 fish in his tank. 36 of the angel fish. The rest are other fish. How many other fish are there? So, write the number sentence. Okay, and we have to find the number in the sentence. And we have to subtract or minus. So, 85 minus 36 equal 49. So, right here, therefore, are 49 other fish Gary had. Number three. There are 37 rows apples trees and 30 papaya trees in the garden how many fruits trees are there all together number sentence right here 37 and then we are right to and uh, 30 so the answer is 67 so write the answer in words there are 67 fruits trees there all together Okay, in page 64, word problem. Eric invited 72 friends to his birthday party only. 54 of them came to the party. However, how many Eric friends did not come? So, have to find the number of sentence. Okay, we have to write 72, then... Uh, we have to write also the number 54. So if we're going to subtract or minus 72 minus 54 equal 18. So the answer, there are 18 Eric friends did not come to the party. Okay. Number two example. Jan has 60 baht more than bin. Bean has 39 baht. How much does Jan have? So we have to write the number sentence. 60 minus 39 equals 21. So write the number in sentence. There are 21 baht money than more than bean. Okay, number three example. Paul scored 24 marks in a test. Andrew scored 6 marks more than Paul in the same test. How many marks did Andrew score? So, we have to write number sentence. Okay, I have to write here 30 because the problem said that Andrew scored six mark more than more than paul but paul got only 24 so the answer is 30 minus 24 is six so this is the marks that andrew more than two Paul. so number sentence 30 Minus 24 equals 6. So there are 6 marks. Andrew more than Paul in the same test. Okay. So now, here is the activity pages 66 in your book. So those who didn't write, okay, who didn't attend yesterday, you can able to check these pages. Okay, number one, on Monday, 45 students were absent from the school. On Friday, 38 students were absent from the school too. Question, how many students altogether were absent in total? So, you have to find the number sentence here. Okay, on Monday, there are 45 students and on Friday, there are 38 students. So, you have to write the number sentence here and you write the answer in your books. And then, 
Write a number sentence and then write the answer. There are blank where absent all together in total. So I write the symbol as addition. Number two. A balloon stand has 57 red balloons. It has 18 more yellow balloons than red balloons. Okay, the question. How many red balloons were stand? So, we have to write number sentence. We have here, uh, stand has 57 balloon, red balloons and what? 18 more yellow balloons. So, we are going, you are going to write here, then find the difference because our, our uh, symbol, it is minus. So, you have to write the answer. Here, there are blank red balloons more than yellow balloons. Number three, a kilo of rambutan costs 25 baht. A kilo of mangoes Mangoes cost 25 baht. Okay. So, okay, for a while. This is, okay, I want to change it. This is uh, a kilo of rambutan. It is one uh, cost about 15 baht. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, rambutan. 15 baht. Okay. Okay. Rambutan, 15 baht. A kilo of mangoes cost 25 baht. Mary need a kilo of rambutans and a kilo of mangoes. Mangoes. Question. How many kilos Mary needs altogether? So, we have to, we have to write number in sentence. Okay, number in sentence. Okay, one kilo of rambutan, 15 baht. And then, we have to write the symbol, plus, and one kilo of <coughs> mangoes, mangoes, 25 baht. So, the question is, how many kilos Mary needs altogether? So, we have to write here, right here, how many kilos of fruits Mary needs in total. Number four, <clears throat> the heads between neighboring houses is 14 meters long. The front heads of each house is 11 meters longer than the heads between neighboring houses. Question, how many distance between neighboring house were there? So write the number of sentence here. So we write here, minus. Okay. So find the difference. Write the answer. In words, there are blank meters distance in the neighboring house. Okay. Okay. Activity page 67. I know that everyone doesn't finish because yesterday we're running out of time. So in page 67, you just copy the question and Copy the number sentence and write the answer as well in word. Okay. Now, in page 67, you have to read the question. Okay. Read the problem. During the examination, Bob read 72 pages of his textbooks. Peter read 16 fewer pages than Bob. Okay, so the question is how many left pages Bob did not read? Okay, you just write the, just write the question here. Okay, just write the question and just write the answer. Okay. Number two, Rosie, Rosie and Lily pick 82 mangoes from their mango trees. Rosie 
pick 45 mangoes. So, you just write the question, okay? And automatically, you just, what? Add or minus the number, okay? Just write the question, how many mangoes were Lily pick? And the answer, okay? Don't write the the number sentence okay just see your books and then total it and you see the symbol if that is minus or that is if that is plus okay so you have to subtract if you see the symbol is minus if you, if you see the symbol uh, is addition you have to add okay so number number three Jane has 90 beds. She used 54 on her new beaded bracelet. Okay, so just write the question. Okay, write the question and the answer. No need to write the number of sentence. Okay, just uh, total automatically okay automatic total it the numbers all together so that you can able to write into the answer okay just copy the question and write the answer uh, under the question okay under the question so that is our uh review that we didn't finish yesterday so i hope that everyone could understand so by next day our our uh topic by next day we have uh the talk about the uh we called um sorry we have to talk about length measurement okay by next day so now uh, i just want you to know to review that first okay by next day we're going to talk about length and measurement okay so i hope that everyone will do this uh uh, activity in your book and as well as the review that uh, those students who didn't finish yesterday and those students who didn't come yesterday online so thank you for watching thank you everyone and by next day our lesson we talk about length measurement okay so thank you so much for your listening and see you again next time goodbye